Yo guys, Punk Rock with another video. As we all know, in any online video game, the most yeah. frustrating part can sometimes be that human element. In World yes. of Warcraft, this can be especially true. Whether just it's like a troll Jigsaw. or some doofus causing a wipe in your raid or in your yep. group, or just some jerk spoiling the air with his presence, you'll yes. run into everything there is to offer in your experience with Classic WoW. It's inevitable, and honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Life is about I balance. Agree. Without negatives, the concept of positive doesn't even exist. I completely agree with that. I, I like the idea that we're in an open space in Classic WoW, and people have the freedom to be a dick. Right? I mean, like, I'm not talking about, like, individually, like, harassing people, right? But, like, in the... I think the avenues in which people can be obnoxious in the game right now are completely sufficient. And I like the idea that you can be a ninja looter. You can be a troll if you want to be. I feel like that makes the game more interesting and, in a way, more exciting. This dynamic makes things interesting and creates memories which become yep. sacred with the touch of time. So in this video, I'm going to cover the like worst people good. of Classic WoW, the, the biggest people. jerks. Let's get into it. Also, don't be that guy. So first on the list, we've got players who don't understand itemization and roll for items which either- McConnell, are you watching this video? What is it? Uh, I just want to make sure you're watching. Uh, it's about the biggest jerks of Classic WoW. Yeah, hopefully your future then. It's your reality. Either aren't good for them or aren't an upgrade. This happens all the time. Epics yep. are scarce and classic, and some people yep. are either greedy or just looking for a purple at any chance that they can get. Yeah, or that's right. even greedy for a side grade or a downgrade blue. It happens Absolutely very often disgusting. where someone will have a great blue in an item slot, and without understanding the difference in itemization, they'll just need on an item which is worse than the current one that they have. I've seen this just happen because before, it's purple, guys. It's not and good. taking it away from somebody who potentially needs it extremely bad. Of course. This is why Master Looter is a very important thing. It's always even more decision. frustrating when you try to explain to them that clearly you don't need this item yep. but they feel entitled to it anyway especially I, I, i've seen this happen many many times over the years uh it's been something that with a lot of people they they just don't get it they want to get as much gear as possible etc Actually, if they rolled for it and won the item yep. but they clearly don't need it and the raid leader gives it to somebody who actually does need it and then they go on an all-out tantrum because they didn't get the item Next up, we've got people who hold the flag in hey. Warsong Gulch, holding up the BG and griefing everyone in it. Oh, in Classic I hate WoW, there's this. no time limit in Warsong like there is in I the modern this. expansions to avoid this exact phenomenon. Eternal I thought Warsongs. this was against TOS. You thought AV was the only remember, battleground though. that can last an indefinite amount of time? Yeah. Warsong Gulch is the griefer's paradise. It so sure you will is. experience this if you PvP a lot. You will one day be in a Warsong where your team is losing real bad, and the enemy team, if they feel like being jerks, could just hold on to your flag for hours while camping your graveyard. There's I used to do this. I used to do this. We would camp the graveyard until they stopped rezzing. And eventually it was like 10 to 2 people because nobody else would join the BG. And yeah, of course, yeah, we used to Well, I didn't want to have to do... I didn't want to do this. It's not like I wanted to camp people at the graveyard. I did it because I had to. I had to do it to get my 250,000 honorable kills for the bloodthirsty mount. And back then, like, you know, there weren't a lot of other options. And I had to sit there and farm the Warsong Gulch. I would hold the flag and kill people AOEing them down right at that exact graveyard. And I did this for like maybe two hours. Like one, like uh, one of them would last for two hours. And eventually people would just stop queuing in and they would just quit. And other people in my group would just like AFK out because they'd be so angry that we weren't actually turning in the flag. There's also ways to jump up above the walls of the yep. Alliance and Horde base, which puts you in a spot that's incredibly hard to wall jump up this to. This is a real Even cough. if you do try to get up there, they'll just kill you as you attempt to wall jump up, giving yep. them the ability to drag out the match endlessly if they really want to. This is a relatively common troll in Warsong and Vanilla, yep. and you'll probably end up seeing it at some point. My advice, just leave the BG immediately and get your deserter tag counting down instead of wasting your time in there. All right, now... I think that should be reportable. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but in my opinion, I think that if you're going out of your way to especially use terrain to your advantage to make it to where people can't get to you, I, I feel like that's terrain exploitation and it's griefing and it should be against the TOS and you should get suspended for it 100%. These guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys have encountered and it was your during leveling Vanilla process too. from 1 to 60. If By you're running the way. skinning, then you know that you have to loot the beast that you kill before you can actually skin the leather. Yep. This introduces a little bit of a frustrating scenario that I see people complaining about on the WoW forums and on Reddit constantly. This is this- Oh no, people don't need their beast kills. Wait, what? 
Who gives a fuck about that? I thought they were going to talk about people skinning the other guy's mobs, like the devil sores, right? Because that's what uh, Unbind was doing. Like, Nasty and Elber was trying to kill the devil sores, then an Unbind to just be sitting there <laughs> trying to fucking skin Nasty Nober's fucking mob. These people who are killing beasts and are not looting them, stopping you from coming in and trying to get the leather. Yep. Now, I know in this scenario, it's their kill and you're not entitled to that leather yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, still or annoying. their inventory might be full and that's why they're not picking up the loot. But nonetheless, I know this is something that a lot of you guys can relate to. Yeah. I personally had an issue with this running Blackrock Depths prison runs and arena runs, where while we were doing the XP farm, we were killing those red hounds all over the place in the prison, and people in my group were just not looting any of them. I was trying to get the rug in and thick leather, but I couldn't skin half of the wolves. It's pretty so annoying. some of you guys might not like this one specifically because of what I mentioned earlier, but nonetheless, we're gonna put this one on the list because it's a very common complaint from a lot of you guys. Loot the beast that you kill, guys, come on. Okay, so this one I have to admit I'm absolutely guilty of, especially being a hunter. We're talking about mob tagging. So somebody who tags your mob that you're clearly about to hit before you can hit it and taking it from you. Now there's Here's what you need to do, okay? Let me teach you guys a few tricks on this. So if you see a warlock who's getting ready to dot something up, in classic WoW, dotting a target doesn't tag it. So what you want to do if you're a mage is you want to fire blast as soon as their dot hits it, or moonfire, right, if you're a druid. And that way, you tag the mob, but then they start dealing damage to it. And then because their damage will out-damage your damage, the mob will go on them, and they will be forced to kill it. And they will, have to get, they will basically have to farm experience for you. And this is something I've done for a long time. Uh, back in actual vanilla in BC, I used to do the same thing with banishing other people's mobs and then making them leave the zone because I kept banishing their stuff. And eventually they'd get angry and leave. Uh, I don't think you can do this anymore in, uh, in Classic, though. It's a couple classes that get the worst end of the stick on this. I'm talking about my warriors, my warlocks, and my yep. paladins. So yep. as a paladin, you don't have a really long range ability at nope. all. You have to paladins walk up a bad pretty time. much melee range, or at least judgment range, before you can actually tag mm -hmm. mob. And right before you hit it and you're about to claim it for yourself, yep. a hunter just comes in and arcane shots it, and then it's his mob. You might walk over Scoopity to another one, and he'll just do the same thing and get both of them on his pet. Same Why thing not? with a warrior, he might be charged. Charging over to a mob and before his auto attack triggers or before he finishes the entire charge length a hunter or a mage are gonna blast it and get it onto them and then for warlocks pretty simple they yeah. put their dots on something but before the dot actually ticks someone tags yep. it now this is surely something it's a, great a lot of you guys are very frustrated with and trust me it never gets better in any expansion until they made tags not character specific and everyone can just kill things together so in any legacy version of the game well they made it fine whenever most people had an ability that immediately did damage instant damage abilities like i mean before they did the shared tags it was still fine it was just like whoever gets their instant tag ability off first and that's like it's kind of stupid but you know it's also in my opinion i think it's fine this is just something you're gonna have to deal with and if i stole your mobs Sorry. So this next one is yep. very similar to the last. We're talking about people who steal your chest. So you might be in Westfall, let's say, for example, and there's a little null camp with maybe yep. four or five different guys. You yep. work your butt off to clear every single one of them. And let's say you're on the last mob and you're about to finish him and get access to that jerk bounty. Lo and behold, right before you kill the last null, some rogue <gasps> what just the pops fuck, out of stealth mate? or some guy just comes charging okay, over, dude. swooping in and takes your Look. chest. You did all all the heavy lifting all the hard work and your reward was just taken from you now fuck them dude i here's the thing right is in the open world man it's a dog eat dog world out there you gotta get what you can get and that's it and if you're not doing it somebody else is doing it like if i see somebody fighting next to a chest man i'm like ooh, 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 don't mind if i do you know and yeah it's kind of a dick thing to do but I just assume everybody else would do the same fucking thing, man. Yeah, fuck that shit. Some people would say it's bad etiquette, and other people etiquette. would say that it's just the nature of the game. Every man for himself, That's we're right. all trying to level, we all need the gold. Poop but regardless of what your opinion is, it's still a little bit of a jerk move. Even if I guess it's pretty fair game. This next one is- I kind of like that. I like that in the game, you know? It makes it a little bit more exciting, you know? You have, like, people can steal your shit. It's, I don't know, it just makes it- like, whenever you can't have any negative outcomes in the game, it just feels boring. You know, I don't know. I just, it's like, oh, I either win or I win more. That's all. 
I don't know. I like the idea. Somebody can just like swoop in and steal your shit. It's like it's annoying sometimes. Yeah, sure. But with like little things like this, who gives a fuck? Just bad etiquette. People who use health pots in duels. Dueling is a massive part of Classic WoW. And I'm sure a yep. lot of you guys have memories of all the top PvPers on your server yep. hanging outside of Ironforge dueling in the good old days. Just like it's me a big right now. part of the vanilla experience. Although in my experience One lately on private PvPers. servers, it hasn't been as prevalent as it was back in original vanilla, where yep. you know the mountain ledge outside of the Ironforge gate was always filled with the most skilled players on your server. It well, was kind of like right a cool now. kids club. It's an unspoken rule that every vanilla player knows. You don't pop health See? pots in a duel. Even See? if you and your opponent are both one hit from death, and it seems so tempting to just pop the pot and win the duel, you don't, you don't do, do it. it. You That's will be right. viewed as a snake for the rest of your life. Uh. Engineering items are more accepted. It kind of depends on who you yep. ask. The popping potions is strictly prohibited Absolutely. under rule 1.12-C16. Disgusting to use potions. Okay, so next drip on the list, people disgusting. who complain in pugs. I mean, I get it. If the pug oh, is dude. super crappy, I get it. But honestly, if it's that bad, just leave or stick it out and shut up. But when a group is pretty bad or quite good even, and you have one guy who at the first sign of a mistake or a slight challenge Start acts wrong. like a little pissant, bringing down the entire morale of the group and specifically making the leader feel bad. Because when you lead a group, it falls on you. It falls on your shoulders, whatever happens in that group. Yeah, it sucks to feel like you're running an inefficient run. But complaining literally helps no one. And it makes things worse, if anything. Morale is incredibly important in a team environment. See, anybody that pulls like these kinds of bitch moves, man, I, I don't want to deal with them. I don't even want them in my guild, right? It's like, I've been in so, like, you guys know how many Mythic Plus keys I've ever left in BFA and Legion combined? I think two. That's it. And both of those, we had our, all agreed that we were going to leave. I never leave keys. If I'm in a run, I finish the fucking run. That's it. I've always been like that. And it's like at a certain point, yeah, it's like, I'm like, guys, can we please call it? This isn't really going well. But if they want to keep going, I never leave runs, man. I, I try to be as, uh, as fair as possible. Give me one sec. I don't know why I, I'm like, I'm getting a runny nose right now. I do apologize for that. Complaining and trash talking in a group just yep. causes animosity and creates a snowball yep. effect that can make things even worse. I get if you're an angry bitch, I'll probably kick you out of the guild one way or another. Yeah, I just don't want to deal with you. Uh, it, it's annoying. It wastes everybody's time. It just, it makes things unpleasant. Yeah, I just kick you out of the guild and that's it. It. You know, when I was younger, I was super bad at this and I used to complain all the time. I did too. But playing competitive team games taught me to sort of reel yeah. it in a little bit. And the results have been significantly visible. Up. When things go bad, you want to yeah. be the guy bringing people up and setting a positive tone, bringing people together. The leader of the group feels guilty when things go bad. And if you respond uh, with positivity and say something like, guys, it's okay, we got it this time, just focus up. That right. goes an extremely long way and generally helps performance going forward. I can't put enough emphasis on this. If you want to complain, do it in Discord, in a private chat, or in your guild chat yep. with people who aren't in the group. But keep the actual group chat positive and try to be productive. You'll end up saving your own time in the process and most likely ameliorating things within that group rather than starting a downward spiral of finger pointing and player tilting. So this next one- I totally agree with that. I mean, like, obviously I used to be much more toxic about that kind of stuff. And back in the day, like, there was a point in time where I would leave groups more regularly. And usually if I ever left a group, I would just simply leave the group and that would be it. I'd just never go back into that group and that would be done. I'd be, just, fuck these guys, doesn't matter, I'm, I'm finished with this. This one is more of a group thing and it's pretty big. Honestly, we don't know how much of a relevant factor it's going to be since there's going to be cross-realm BGs in uh, vanilla That's confirmed by Blizzard. Here, but we don't shit. know how big the BG groups are going to be, how many servers are going to be included in each BG group yeah. and it still might be a factor. So here we got... Q Dodgers, the scum of pre-mating in Classic WoW. Oh. These pre-mates will roll level 1s to spy on enemy teams in order to dodge their BGQ. So they We did the same shit with RBGs all the time. Like, if we were queuing into a team that we knew that we couldn't beat, we'd just wait for them to get a game and then we'd queue again. Like, everybody did this back in the RBG days, unless you were literally the top team. Like, there is no team that I knew that didn't Q dodge unless they were, like, the top team that were on at that time. Everybody else Q dodged.
only face uncompetitive non yeah, pre mates or lesser skill pre mates. This is cowardice at its best. Yep. And it affects the PvP honor ladder since the Q Dodgers are able to farm honor quicker against cruddier teams. Of course. So they're going into quick BG wins over and over, and the other teams are taking Qs against stronger pre mates. Yep. This next one is a vanilla classic. I've seen it less and less in later expansions, but for some reason it always seems to re emerge in a big way in the classic raiding ecosystem. We've okay. got the Tyrant Raid Leader. Satire is generally based in reality, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the kind of spoof parody videos about raging tyrant raid leaders from old school WoW. The Onyxia wipe viral video is probably the most obvious example. J Wait a minute, no, it's not me at all! It's not me, like, am I a tyrant raid leader? I am the most gracious raid leader that there is. I, I, I'm reasonable. I talk to people. I, I'm like, you know what? You can, I understand where you're coming from. You're, you know, having problems, etc. I am the most reasonable raid leader that there is. Uh, and, and that's it, man. I, I am, I am not a tyrant at all. I am not a tyrant or a bad raid leader. I'm a very, very good guy who's reasonable. And I always listen to what other people have to say. Generally, it's a relatively young kid who's leading these raids, early yep. 20s max, mixed with maybe a little bit of a Napoleon complex, you know, taking out his real life frustrations and insecurities out in the yep. raid comms. I hope you don't get caught in one of these situations in a raid guild. It's unbearable in certain cases, and it's kind of similar to people who complain in pugs. It generally Except doesn't produce results. All of the best guilds tend to have a very calm, cohesive camaraderie type culture within their voice comms, which allows them to thrive in difficult situations while having a little petulant child is your raid leader who's just yelling and going crazy all the time can make things go worse and can make people leave and then having to recruit over and over again not exactly really we used to have a rule back in the day where every single time that i would raid lead somebody would quit the guild if they had to take if the raid leader took a day off and it's like oh fuck asman gold's gonna have to raid lead every time i did a raid somebody would quit the guild and I, I did this on purpose, right? Because I knew that these other people in the guild were just getting by scot-free. Oh, I'm sorry. I got hit by the fire again. I wasn't paying attention. Well, it wasn't on my screen, but it was there. Oh, well, uh, I don't know. I, I didn't see it. Uh, it didn't show up. I, I think it was lag. I don't know. And the raiders are, oh, it's so Well, why are you doing a girl voice, dude? It's not a girl voice. Um, It's... It's not, it's not a girl voice. It's, it's okay. It's okay. You're a good boy. You're not going to do any. You're a good girl. Whatever. You're you're a good individual. You're not going to do anything wrong. You know. And I I get one night every month about to to go in that raid and to just fucking to just shit on him. And I it felt so goddamn good because I, I everybody else in the guild would message me like thank god dude thank you so much man thank you so much this dick boy's been getting by under the radar every single day it's been pissing me off and then i come in there and i enact fucking justice and i say listen to me you dumb fucking piece of shit i don't really say that usually what i just say is like well if it wasn't on your screen then why'd you try moving out of it in the wrong direction and, oh well uh, you know hey I just thought I was just kind of predicting things and like just calling these fucking pieces of shit out, right? It was amazing. Like, I, I would do this like even back in the day, like if I ever read it again on the live servers, you guys will see. I am harsh, but I'm effective and I'm constructive whenever I'm dealing with an actual good team, right? If it's a random pug full of dumbasses, yeah, I'll be a dick. But like if I'm dealing with a, a, a serious team, right? Whenever we were doing our, uh, our, mythic, our mythic pugs for uh, Ashara, we had no problems. I, I, I was never an asshole. Much else to be said, tyrant raid leaders are the worst. Next up, we've got world PvP griefers. I personally yep. find this kind of stuff more funny than I get annoyed by it, but I know most of you guys out there absolutely hate this stuff, so I'll mention it. Level 60s who stay in Red Ridge all day ganking level 20s. Yep. On EU servers, there's always an undead mage or undead rogue, probably Russian, sitting there all day griefing lobbies. I actually heard a story from the old days of Blizzard banning somebody who would just camp low levels all day in Red Ridge. Not sure how I feel about someone actually getting banned for that, but you know, it is what it is. 
Also, I can add people who kill flight path NPCs, but again, I find that stuff more funny than I care about it. But uh, that, that's the game, dude. Like, in my opinion, like, killing flight path NPCs and everything like that, that's the fucking game. Like, if you don't like that, if you're not a fan of that, then I don't know really what to say. It's just, it, it is, it is what it is. It's still a jerk move, I guess, so I'll edit it. Yeah. Okay, now I left this one for the last spot, and okay. I think rightfully so. They say, save the best for last. And a lot of you probably forgot about this the nature of these annoying leeches, or at least the magnitude of it within a classic context. Gold beggars? We've got gold beggars. Gold beggars aren't a factor in the newer versions of the game, it's because true. gold is pretty much irrelevant. But in classic, gold is, like everything else, scarce. Stormin yep. specifically is where this situation is the worst. Filthy yep. leeches will harass you for gold donations in yep. the city center, non-stop. I hate Sometimes this. they're sneaky too. You'll just get a random yep. little sneaky whisper like, Hey, man. hey mate. What? Oh, how's it going, mate? Oh, how's life, mate? How's your mom, mate? Good. Uh, so, mate, uh, go on any adventures lately, mate? Yeah, just killed Onyxia. It was pretty sweet. Oh, wow, mate, that's so good. Can I have gold for a mount, please? <laughs> Just turn around and book it. Don't do it. Yep. Don't give them gold. In fact, a lot of the time you have people with high level characters who will make low level alts specifically just to beg for gold instead of gold farming. Of it's course. a gold making strategy for it's some what people. Makes sense. They just pretend to be a new player who needs gold for skills or amount and just beg for gold all day in Stormwind. All right, boys, that's it for this one. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this one. We've all had encounters with these kind of jerks yep. in the game before, right? Like I said in the intro, though, it's all part of the ecosystem. Yeah, it's human those nature. Really it's annoying. another human I, element I like that makes the game bigger than just a game. It's an experience. Yep. So that's the video. I if you feel like I missed a big EBRS. one on this video, People add it in the comment me. section. I read all of the comments and I want to hear your uh, anecdotes, boys. My, if you like this video pass. and want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, You're subscribe. You know the drill, soldiers. I hope you liked it. And with that, have a good one. I'm out. Peace.